what is going on and welcome back to the channel guys hope you guys are excited for today's video because i'm gonna be doing the headliner on the civic um not only that we're gonna be changing it to black i don't know how this is gonna go because changing it to black i mean i'm i'm assuming a professional shop will like dye it or whatever like anything that you have and what i have is just i have the headliner and that's about it and i'm just gonna be like you know spraying my fucking plastics <laughs> if it doesn't work out very well then i'll just sand it down and go back to gray that's fine by me i just think black would look a lot cleaner it kind of bothers me that on these cars like all the interior is all black and then like the top part of it is just like gray but oh well i mean that's what diys are for <laughs> So we gotta unplug the uh, positive cable on the battery and I'm only doing that so my airbags don't go off because in the 8th gen there is airbags on the pillars so I don't want to like get smacked with an airbag and fucking die or get knocked the fuck out. So we're gonna try doing that and see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping it goes pretty smooth. If not, I'm in for a treat. <laughs> So, not only are we also changing the headliner, we're also going to be adding the starry lights. Um, I've never done something like this, so it's going to be something kind of difficult, I feel like. Um, we'll see how it goes. So, I'm going to get to undoing the battery. Alright guys, so, battery's disconnected. Um, I don't know if I should start from the front or the back. But, I think I'm going to just start disassembling my window visors um i don't know how to take off the sunroof either I don't, i'm not i'm honestly probably gonna have to look it up i'm honestly doing this on the go so if i really need help i'll look at other youtube videos to help me with my youtube video <laughs> so let's get to this Alright guys, so I took out the visors, the uh, O'Shea handle, and whatever this is called, it's for your window visor. Um, all of it's pretty simple, um, just two flatheads right here. To take this out, you just like put a flathead this way and then twist it and it pops out. These, um, how would I explain this? So it clips on to the... Uh, O'Shea handle and all you have to do is just use like a flathead and pop them like this or squeeze them like this and They'll pop out of the O'Shea handle and that's it. There's no bolt or anything. So pretty simple um, Now I need to take off the two like 10 millimeters. I believe in here. I don't know if you can see that there's one right there and then One in there I uh, Can't really show you because my camera's not focusing, but uh, yeah, it's right here and right here simple we got this guys and then after once i do that i am gonna start popping the panels to get everything off so my a pillars i think that's called my b pillar this one right here and then my c pillar i'm assuming <laughs> um also there's probably this too um your like clothes hanger i don't know if anyone used that as actual clothes hanger but yeah i think that's what it's called uh so yeah i'm gonna just do all this real quick All right guys, it's been quite a bit and I've never worked so hard to take off some fucking clips. But I finally got off the clips for the A pillar and C B pillar or whatever. Um, they're all right here. There's these like stupid ass clips that are like fucking like 
stuck stuck in there and I had to like use all my might to like <clears throat> and even then some like I had to do it like multiple times so I could get it out it was stupid I was like sweating <laughs> um, so what my plan is is to primer these and paint them black um, I wasn't able to get the sunroof out and I'm trying to figure out a better way to do it so that way I do it right somewhat so yeah I did get the sun, uh, the headliner out as you guys can see got the headliner out it looks all empty in there it's still in there the sunroof uh, cover all right so the primer is drying right now it takes like 15 20 minutes but I'm gonna say like I'm gonna try to push it as long as it can cuz I'm not a painter and I'm pretty sure it's pretty heavy um, <laughs> And also, uh, I'd like to say that it's kind of cold outside, so yeah. Um, but we're gonna get to pulling this all off. Uh, wish me luck, guys. I'm gonna see how this goes. I cleaned up the whole thingy, the headliner base under thingy. Um, I needed help, so I woke up Tanner. <laughs> um, it's honestly really sticky, guys, and it like it looked like I don't want to explain it. <laughs> but we're gonna try to lay the black headliner. Um, I still haven't gotten out the sunroof cover but uh i'm trying to see how i can try to take it out um i asked people on the hn page they said it's just easier to take out the whole sunroof and i'm kind of scared to do that but i might have to do it so we'll see guys but we're gonna get to doing this the plastics outside they're already primered on the second coat they're drying right now so me and tyner are gonna do this while that's drying <sighs> big shout out to tanner um, he's the one that pretty much laid this all out. It looks so much better than what it was before. I even like this a lot better than the gray. It's just more of a hassle because I have to change everything to black now. But big shout out to Tanner. Thank you so much, bro. I love you long time. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna flip it up and then we're gonna seal it pretty much and just, you know, make it look clean and like an actual headliner. We trimmed it down to where it needs to be. Um, then we're just gonna seal it and let it sit. We're gonna do the, all the holes and all that for all whatever holes that we have. Um, uh, oh yeah, I painted the uh, trims. I think it looks pretty close to OEM. Not not like 100%, but it's close enough, I guess. Um, kind of sucks that it's kind of windy, but like. You gotta do what you gotta deal with. So we're gonna stop right here and Tanner and I are gonna go do some stuff that we really need to get done. So this is gonna be put on hold. So I'll probably wait for tomorrow to get this done. Um, so we'll continue this tomorrow, guys. All right, guys, it's the next day. And um, it's kind of late, yes, but it's my day off. So I can spend all night in here if I really wanted to. Um, so I didn't get to seal the whole headliner. I didn't do most of it. Uh, I just got to do this part now. See that? Just got to do that pretty much. Already got it down here. So we should be chilling. Do that. I'm going to bring it inside. Put in the starlight. And hopefully it works. Um, I do also need to do the uh, sunroof. I'm going to try to figure that out if I can. Um, I'm going to do my best though. Um, so yeah. I'm also gonna need to cut out the holes for the headliner, so fun things, I guess you could say. So, <laughs> all right guys, yeah. Uh, let's try to get this done. So I pretty much have the headliner almost done. I already cut out the holes for it. Um, it looks somewhat clean. Um, 
I'd say it looks a lot better. I think I'm pretty proud of myself for doing DIY. Um, heck yeah. It looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I think I'm going to do the sunroof tomorrow. I'm going to start working on the lights right now. So I'm going to bring that inside and just start poking holes, I guess. All right, so headliner is inside the house. And here's my uh, star lights. It's like 60 bucks. There's only 300 of them. Um, so I'm going to have to spread out 300. I really wanted it to come up up here, but there's that black thing in the way. So can't really do that. So I think we're just going to stick with the back. And that's fine. Um, we'll see how it goes. So all I'm going to do is probably make like a like T thingy right here. Plus sign. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and just do a bunch of little dots. And to make the little dots, I have safety pins. Um, I didn't really want to drill it just because it's going to make a mess inside. So, yeah. And then I have a hot glue gun to pretty much glue it together. So, let's see how it goes. And we'll see what's good. I did all my dots. So, this is about 300. Um, I think what's more important to me is getting this part. And then I'm probably gonna stop around right here. I wish I had more lights, but I don't. So I'm gonna see what we can do. Um, I would like to kind of keep them together so they look good. Um, but we'll see what I can do to make it this happen. Um, I'm thinking it will be good. I think it'll be just towards the middle more, and that's fine. Um, so I'll be like, I'm <clears throat> pretty much skipping this whole back half of it or back third of it. That's fine. Uh, so let's get to start making my holes. All right, guys, we put in all the stupid ass lights in here. Honestly, guys, if I were to ever do this again, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather pay someone because, like, it's kind of a vision to have. Like, I mean, at least I could say that I did it. Tanner helped me a lot through it too. It's literally like what? It's 1:30. 1:30. O'clock. One thirty o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Um, all we have to do is pretty much we're gonna hot glue gun the fiber optics so they stay in place, and that's a lot of fucking fiber optics. Then we're gonna tape over it and then snip it. All right, guys. Everything is hot glue gunned. Everything's pretty dry now. It dries up pretty quick um, just a tip don't get too close to it because it will melt it <laughs> that's why it's just kind of light right here but it still passes through so we're chilling um, now it's just time to trim it we're just gonna flip this over and do that also you don't want to get uh, too close with the hot glue gun so melt that let's go risk risk uh burning the shit out of your hands so <laughs> yeah don't, tip, don't do that Tanner did that quite a bit. <laughs> Tommy didn't though. No. You can see who's uh, the smartest of the two. <laughs> um, I should probably tape this all up, huh? Or should I cut it first? Yeah, cut it right here. You can cut it right there. Yeah, I think we'll be good. <laughs> Dude, you're not pissed off. I would be, bro. <laughs> nope, I guess we're doing it again. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So. We're gonna tape this up first, then we're gonna cut it. All right, guys, so we're pretty much finished with it. We're gonna call it a night, but y'all have to check this out. Ooh, baby. So it doesn't do any cool stuff, but like it changes colors. <laughs> Ooh. That's how you give someone to see him. <laughs> but it was low key hurting my eyes. You know why? Because we've been staring at it for like the last hour and a half. And honestly, when we were cutting these, we were in on the shit like this. That sure really does number on your eyes. Honestly. I wish I had more lights, but I didn't know. So, like. We're gonna deal with this right now. I wanted to come up to right here, 
to right here but there's not enough lights for that just my advice to you guys if you guys want to do the whole thing get like a like a, a good thousand this is only 300 but more is better than not enough and this wasn't enough so it's okay honestly guys if i do this again i'm gonna pay someone to do it because <laughs> i don't want to go through this hassle again it's too much work i wanted it to be cool and be like yeah i did it by myself fuck that <laughs> but we're gonna continue this tomorrow once again so we can install this i can get my sunroof done i can paint the rest of the interior and we should be golden so hopefully i can finish it all tomorrow i'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys it's the next day and Headliner still inside, but I'm gonna finish painting the um, interior pieces. Um, it's like 40 degrees right now, so like I'm, I have a heater over there, and I'm warming up the cans. Um, probably not safe, but like fuck it. So what I'm gonna get to is I'm just gonna try to see if I could take off this sunroof cover, and if I can't, worst comes to worst, we're spraying it. <laughs> I know it's ghetto, but like, fuck it. Um, I just want to get my car back together already. And I've been working on this for like a fat minute. It's been like three days already, so yeah. So let's try to take off the sunroof cover. All right, guys, I took out my sunroof. Um, am I going to regret this? I don't know yet, but this is a lot of work just to do a headliner. Oh, well, though. Um, there's like six, eight bolts that held in the frame. My only thing is, I don't know how to take off this because this is literally all I need to get to. Um, I know I need to get it off the tracks, but I need to figure out how to do that. And I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure it out, guys. I got it the sunroof cover, so all there is is there's two screws that I just took out, um, right here. They're two Phillips heads, they're on the ends. I just took those off, and then it slid out, so got it out. See that right here? They're tiny screws. Um, so, I'm gonna pretty much reupholster this and see how to do this. Um, there's a piece of metal right here kind of holding it in, which kind of concerns me a little bit. Uh, so, let's see what's good. All right, so, change of plans. I am painting it because there's this metal clip that I can't get out. I'm scared if I do force it out, it's not gonna go back in the same way. So, I'm gonna have to paint it. Um, finishing painting these is the final coat. Um, that's just one coat. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mask off all the other bullshit that I need to mask off. So, we're gonna get this done. All right guys, so I just woke up and I couldn't finish everything last night because it was too cold. And right now, it's like February, so it's way too cold to do anything like this, but I'm still trying to get it done. And uh, I'm still stuck at the painting stage. So like, it's, it's kind of frustrating because I can't put it all together. And like my car has been apart for like four days already. And it's kind of like, not irritating me, but like irritating me. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to finish all the painting today. Um, I got these done uh, I just have to do these now let's see so all my little interior pl plastics just right here my visors um, I have to paint all these and we should be good to install it after that um, I think once these are all done and painted I'm gonna start trying to install the sunroof but I do need to wait for the uh, handle for the sunroof cover right here um, just so I can put it back together at least. At least I can get started on that, so we'll see what's good. All right guys, so I'm super sorry that I wasn't able to record the install process, but I am in like a hurry. I literally been working on this since 12. It's like six o'clock right now. I finally got everything back in. Uh, I just gotta clean up the shop a little bit and I'll be done. But I got the lights to work. I need to rewire it a little bit better. That way there's no wire showing, but like, look. Uh, let me try to show you guys a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can notice that. Sorry for my face. <laughs> but 
yeah guys so sorry I couldn't show the install of it but it's just that I'm in a hurry right now I gotta go to work in a little bit my plan was to take a nap before work cuz you know I don't want to be tired at work but I guess I'm gonna be struggling tonight so guys I hope you guys like this install video and I hope you guys found this helpful in a way I guess but regardless of that guys if you guys like the content please like comment and subscribe it really helps out the channel but I think that's gonna be it for this vlog don't forget to stay clean stay safe and just stay inspired to inspire others see you guys later